Okay, should we call it to order then? Let's do it. All right, uh, if you, uh, let's see, it's 532. And uh, I don't know if, I guess you guys know or don't know, if Ray and Michael, neither one will be here. Okay. All right. Uh, Ray went to the Torch Conference, so that's where he's at. Let's see, regular attendance. So we have Brett, Paul, Dr. Burroughs, and uh, me. Okay. If you guys will look at the uh, minutes and let me know if you approve or don't approve. I move we approve it. That's true. Well, that was yes. quick. All right. Let it show that Paul make a motion to approve the minute, minutes and Dr. Rose, you second it? Yes, ma'am. All right, fantastic. All right, and uh, with a vote of three to zero. Done. Of course, we move right along. All right. Um, what the heck? I'm sorry, this is so odd. I am having the worst trouble with this. The screen. Really do. I don't know if you just no went one. off or. Hmm. I'm going to try again. And then the prior month we had 39. Our gross revenue for March, $4,556,577. Next. Hospital salaries, we had $528,917 with a budget of $490,876. Some of that is due to, um, we have increased salaries and not increased as in like a, uh, promotion or anything, but as far as our time, because we, we brought lab in-house. That and rehab, we're doing a lot more rehab. So our salaries have gone up. Our benefits are up a little bit. They're at 206000 <clears throat> excuse me, $113 with a budget of $197,758. And our net revenue for March, $1,180,181 with a budget of $1,046,566. And all of our benchmarks also look pretty good this month. <clears throat> our salaries as a percent of net revenue, we were at 45% with a benchmark of less than 47. Our salaries were over budget by $38,041. And a ratio of salary benefits to net revenue, we were at 62% with a benchmark of 66%. Supplies in March, $163,954 with a budget of $175,000. Our professional services, we were at 169708 with a budget of 158597 Repairs and maintenance, $33,655 with a budget of $29,152. Our indigent has come down some from the prior months. Uh, we are $39,994 with a budget of $34,442. And our total expense is $1,381,249 with a budget of $1,319,789. Our cash collections uh, versus our net revenue, we were 87%, the benchmark of greater than 98%. And days of cash on hand, 8 with a budget of 45 or more. So our cash collections looked lower percentage-wise, but we actually made over a million dollars. Uh, the business office collected $1,024,828. Net revenue of $1,180,000, uh, $182, excuse me, $1,180,182. I was tough to say. And once again, a little hard to read up there, but in your PowerPoint and your printout, you can see that on the hospital side, we have a cash deficit of $196,929. Uh, 
and on the clinic side, we have a cash surplus of $1,641. Some of the difference there, some of the, I noticed that in March, because of the timing of the payrolls, we actually had to make three different payroll tax deposits. So that line where it says electronic tr uh, transfers and drafts, that actually includes three payroll tax payments, and our payroll tax payments are over $75,000. So that probably accounts for some for some of that. Hey, at least we're paying our taxes. Thank you. Yes, we are. Behind that are the financials. Uh, starting with the hospital, we had really good revenue in March. I was glad to see that we were over budget for both inpatient, outpatient, and once again our senior adult program. So we did really good. We were we had a. a we were over budget by $738,052. Really nice. And then for the year, $372,679. Our expenses, we were over budget on our expenses uh, by $61,460 for the month. Um, I wanted to mention that if you look at your repairs and maintenance and your other operating expenses, since we made that motion to adjust the budget, do the interest expense by right. ten thousand dollars, that has been made. Um, Did and the I board approve that? I thought they approved it the last. I didn't go to that meeting, so I didn't. Budget, yeah, yeah, they, they, they approved, approved it to budget finance, but I didn't know if they approved yes. it. The yes, budget. yes. Cool. So I don't know if you guys need, um, you know, your binders. I could either amend. I modified mine. You already did. Okay. Okay. I don't great. know if anybody else looks at it. Well, the bottom line, for, uh, net income, we had $132,101 on the hospital side for the month of March, and for the year, $603,862. And I'd also like to mention this last, um, you'll see it in April financials, but this last week was very odd, but on Friday, we received both our IGT of 85000 came through, the 50000 that we were due back because of the cost report came in, and the tobacco settlement which was only $48,000 this year, as opposed to last year, it was 60000 I guess the market wasn't quite as good. But hey, we were happy to see 48000 So three. Any checks coming in? We had three different electronic payments hit on Friday. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Would have been better if it had been <laughs> payroll day. So but been nice to come up there. I heard that some people were told their paychecks were going to be that. Well, not all employees. What we did, and, and we did actually, uh, it wasn't employees, it was um, admin and doctors. We delayed payroll by a day, yes, due to cash flow. Yeah. Now, is there any legal issues with doing that? Mm -hmm. Like Texas Workforce Commission? Or no, no. And I don't rate, know, that's my salary, best. I have no clue. Salary, I've never salary. heard of that. So. All salary, and also Ray, uh, he met with all of the doctors and all of the admin, and we agreed that that was probably the best thing to do because we wanted, we needed to make payroll for the for the employees. True. So no, no other employees, it was just a salaried, admin staff and the doctors. So do we see that happening again? Soon? It's quite possible. It is, it's quite possible. We, we're in the money cash fight. We really are because of this limited deal. So, mm -hmm. doing the best we can, but yeah, it's possible. Now, since we got those three payments, the tobacco and all that, we were able to go ahead and make the payroll, and we're, we're trying to hold back as much as we can, but you know, we also have creditors that call us, mm -hmm. vendors that want their money, so it's ugly, it's a vicious cycle. On the clinic side, um, the revenues for the month we were un we were down. We have a net loss of $116,914 for the year. Excuse me, for the month and for the year, $864,454. The consolidated is behind that. If you guys just want a few minutes and you want to look through it or ask any questions, let me know, and then we'll move on to the uh, the complementation income statement.
So let me make sure I get the answer. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Glenrose Healthcare Inc. 501A operating income statement for the six months in the 331 16. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the revenues from outpatient care, and uh, this is just for outpatient, is right. $2.6 million, right? Mm -hmm. But yet the salaries is $1.2 million. So almost half of the revenue we made is taken up in salaries. And that's what discounts of 1.3 million. So almost all that money is spent in discounts and allowances and salaries. And you know that each doctor, they have their own contracts. They negotiate that separately. And, and that's it's for a year. So whatever it is for that year, it, it, it remains that. Now, um, I guess I, I guess it's common knowledge that because Ray's already, I don't know if he's spoken to you guys or not, but Dr. Lawton's last day is uh, May 31st, so that will be coming down. And then he'll, they'll just, the other doctors will be absorbing his patients, so we won't, we're not planning to replace that position. And those salaries and, include the part of the administration people that are kind of working part clinic and part? Oh, yes. As far as the allocation, yeah. Right. Yes. That's not just that. You know, let me, let me also state that last Thursday when we had this, uh, this payroll issue, uh, we called a meeting with the department directors and just told them exactly what was going on and where we are and we've got to make some, we've got to make some um, hard decisions here. Uh, and depending on what the plant does, I mean, if, if we get the plant money, that's one thing. If we don't, you know, we're, we're, we have to seriously think about what to do. And Ray told them all to go back there to, to their departments, talk about it with their staff. They'll be coming back. We have another meeting on Thursday, this Thursday, because they'll be back from Torch, and we plan to meet with the department directors at that time and find out what their ideas are uh, as far as cost savings, generating more revenue, whatever we can do, but trying to get all of the departments involved in that. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up with on Thursday. I think it was kind of an eye opener for all of us and for the employees when they found out, you know, that payroll was going to be pushed back. And that was just, like I said, for admin. A lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are y'all ready to move to the pecan plantation income statement, or yep. you still okay? So for March gross revenue uh, for pecan, there was four hundred fifty thousand eight hundred ninety-eight dollars. Um, if you'll notice, well, you may not be able to tell that it's highlighted, but under the hospital revenue last month, we were having a problem with the report that's generated that shows Dr. Carpenter's gross revenue under on the hospital side, and so that was missing last month. I um, still don't have that report, uh, Kelly's working on it, and so it's missing again. These numbers are going to change is basically what I'm trying to come down to tell you. Also, you know that rehab, and now that it's, it's opened and, and up and running, we'll also be seeing some more expenses. So we'll have to pull whoever's working with you on their salaries and benefits. So you're going to see these numbers change a little bit. Bottom line, though, for the year as it stands now, they're at $78,949 uh, net income. I'll just state again, I don't think we should be spending money there at all. We're operating there in any capacity. The thing is, we're not spending money there, we're actually collecting money from there. Well, we shouldn't be operating outside the district. We're a nonprofit entity with the IRS and the state of Texas. We shouldn't be operating in a for profit capacity in another district. Especially when that district doesn't charge their citizens taxes. Uh, for the hospital district, and we do. Okay. Noted. <laughs> All right, behind that is the um, OSA document. And um, in March, we didn't have any transfers between the clinic and the hospital. And as of today, we had one, two, let's see, three, four different transfers, but most of that was money coming from the clinic to the hospital. So. It's actually changed where um, at the end of February, the clinic had transferred money to the hospital in the amount of 56604 and it's now 
After that, you'll see the check registers for the hospital. I think there's four pages of that and then a page of clinic. So for that, that check, the Silver Oak County Appraisal District, was that for that lawyer stuff that's It's the legal on? fees, it, yes. And quite honestly, it's still sitting on my desk. Thanks for telling me, so I know when Wes calls. You know what? I know when Wes calls, what he's calling Right, about. yeah, there you go. CHC, which is uh, handled our health insurance, they're allowing us to uh, make more payments during the month. You'll see several different checks in here for like 46000 as opposed to making one payment of 150 or whatever. And so that's, that's kind of helped us out. But you'll see them periodically through here a couple of times. If anything, I don't know if anything else jumps out at you, let me know. I understand. I'd to make some payment. Right. That's mostly lab, lab supplies. Okay. That's a big one. And all of our all of our lab supplies have increased because we took it back in house. So yeah, that was a big one. And we got that contract with uh, Wolf, Wolf uh, Hollow. And we did all those lab people at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doing like forty at a time for Oh the yeah, lab is very busy. I was fixing to leave and I was the last one in there. Back door spot. Do you want me to leave that door open for now? Or no, you can just pull it. Okay. I would make sure you need the code. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. All right, so here's a question. Okay. Why are we paying this work? Well, that mean, was that expense? Page uh, where three. do you see it? Page three. Oh, let's see here. Oh, $31. And I, I think that has to do with an expense uh, check that she had before she left. And I mean, we were obligated to pay that. So we shouldn't see anything else after that for her. As far as expenses, no, I, I, I can't imagine. Questions on the check registers? For me. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, then following that is the American Express bill. If you want to take a look at that and let me know if you have any questions on that, there's probably a couple things you'll. Vegas. You're right. I knew that was going to come up. Yes, a cat. <laughs> It, that was an ER, it was an MCARE leadership conference that uh, both Kat and I think Tracy Witt also went to and had to do with ER.
So we spent $1,900 in Inland River for a dinner for a doctor who we then did not end up hiring, right? That is true. I believe the offer was made to her. She tried to hire her. Yeah, we did try to hire her. She went somewhere else, though. That wasn't just dinner, that was lodging, wasn't it? Too. Did she stay there too? She did stay there and um, I'm I'm not positive if that was for the, the whole thing. I couldn't really tell you off the bottom right off the top of head. I think she was there what two night two nights? I don't see how you eat that much wine. Drink that much wine in one night. Well, we wouldn't pay for wine. I've had some big expensive bills before. Yeah, yeah. And our river's nice. We, we would not pay for the alcohol. It is because there's another in on the river dinner that's No, that's just Dr. Ramsey. That's that's for peer review stuff. That was, are you talking about the Another in on the river? Yeah, no, but it said, doesn't say lodging. The other one specifically says lodging. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one below that is actually uh, for Dr. Rams, who does our peer reviews. still do not have our uh, the doctor's report that shows all the gross revenue. That's the one that Kelly's been trying to work on to get the, get the numbers to come out of CPSI correctly. Uh, having a bit of an issue with that, but we do have the stat report on the hospital side. You'll see that there were 44 admissions uh, in March. And then the last piece of, bit of, of information is the financial uh, dashboard, and that's behind that. I say it's because we want to keep spending all our money in the car instead of just focusing here. But, you know, nobody wants to. It might be that taking care of sick people costs money. That's a shame. That's right. Take care of sick people in our district. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all I have, uh, unless you have questions. What are we going to do if we don't get any more money from them? If we don't get any more money from them, mm -hmm. are you just wanting my opinion of yeah. what we're going to do? No, it's your you know, official recommendation. <laughs> Well, I mean, we have. We've been talking. I don't. Um, I don't know how much more in expenses on the hospital side that we can keep cutting. I mean, at some point, we don't have any no fat to cut. Yeah, and still be leaving. Right. 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 Yeah. Um, we might have to close down departments. I'm not sure. We, we're talking about several different things. So, I think the limit trials the 4th or 5th of May, so hopefully we'll know something by then. 
Unless you have some recommendations. <laughs> I was just kind of worried about where the money was coming from. <laughs> I do. I have some recommendations. Why don't we close that clinic and become? That's, <laughs> that's a good start. It'll be eighty thousand dollars, but that's not. That's a good start. That's that's interesting. interesting. Those are the people that pay their bills. Yeah, those are the ones that pay the hospital bills, so we'll, we'll get, get less. Closed. We'll get less than that. Yeah, then we can do this quicker. Quicker operations. So emergency like room services only. Runs in the room. Cancel the contract with the 501A. We hire a few doctors directly that work for the district, so we're not losing all this money through the doctors. But all the outpatient services. Because the outpatient of the formal service. contracts that have been approved by Ray Reynolds. Yeah, the hospital like service, the outside outpatient services count for three quarters of our profit. You and that's two x-rays and We're not here for profit. We'll get back to that. Well, enough to keep the hospital open so we don't have to tax to additional here tax here. money. So you'd have to have additional tax money in order to keep it open if you weren't generating some. I think you would single-handedly uh, ruin the hospital. I think it's already ruined. Yeah, I haven't done anything. Oh. <laughs> I think the hospital's pretty darn good. But I think so, too. So I can't pay our people. Okay. No. Well, that's because that's that's we don't have enough. They didn't generate enough tax money. Because you're playing well enough. Are we all start crying? Or? Yeah. Because we're playing well enough. If people would have played better, we got more money than we have to to zero. <laughs> that's not very good planning. Yeah. Well we've got all that on record. We've been down there for us. We have. So. We've definitely been down that road. We, yes, we have. Yeah. In fact, my court case was ruled on last week by the Appeals Court. You agree with me on every aspect of what I said. Can I get a motion? <laughs> Can we adjourn, please? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> all right. We're all in agreement. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. 558. Thank you, guys.